couple of weeks ago, I did a video on cash registers and handling cash, and I used an anecdote about a lady who handed me change covered in her son's gum. So I've taken dirty cash, and I didn't think it could get much worse than that, but today, it definitely did. I was in the middle of lunch hour, and a lady and her husband, I don't want to say an elderly couple, I'd say probably late 50s, early 60s, they come up and they order their food, and she goes to take out her, what I assumed would be a wallet, and out of her purse she pulls out this disgusting, gray, crusty, smelly sock, a sock, like a sock. And she digs through it and pulls out a wad of cash. Hands it to me. The nastiest smelling cash I have ever smelled in my life. Like, and I've smelled some pretty nasty cash. She hands it to me like it's completely normal. And then looks at her husband and says, Honey, you know, I wouldn't have to be paying out of this dirty sock if you just break down and buy me that change purse that I've been asking for for years. And he goes, Honey, you could at least wash the sock. And she goes, no, because that would defeat the purpose of you buying me the change purse. What? What? No! So I had to accept the money because, well, I mean, we're in the middle of lunch hour and I didn't want to cause a scene. But you must believe that I sterilized my hands at least three times. I, I have never been more appalled. And basically, the point of the matter is, if you ever want your husband to buy you a change purse, don't use a sock to go about doing it. Try more subtle things, like, hey, honey, buy me a change purse. You know, that kind of thing. Truthfully, she could have been a little more classy, you know, Ziploc bags are great. I don't know. It was gross. I'm pretty sure my hands are going to be permanently damaged. <laughs> Alright, that's all for now.